Denton County, I believe, is the fastest growing county in our diocese. The problems with the current church were apparent pretty quickly in terms of the lack of space that we had. We were not poised really to meet the current needs and certainly not the needs for the future. The people at St. Philip's uh, expressed through the surveys and other consultations that we did that they were interested in a more traditional looking church. Uh, well, among my hopes is that uh, the architecture will do what church architecture should do, which is help uh, elevate our minds and hearts toward God. You know, church architecture is a whole interesting field. We wanted something that would be a sort of sermon in stone, so that even if you didn't enter, people that simply drove past or noticed it would be reminded of God. I believe the tower is something that sort of does that, the sort of gothic shape of the windows. Points heavenward, and that's what we hope that the architecture of this building does. First Mass will be the Mass of Dedication, celebrated by Bishop Olson. The bishop uh, is required by the rites of the church to come and do that, and it's a magnificent ceremony full of rich symbolism. He blesses the people and the walls with holy water. Uh, he consecrates the altar by using sacred chrism on it, and then the walls and the people are incensed with incense, uh, and then the mass is celebrated. For me, this project has been a testimony to the goodwill and generosity of the people of St. Phillips, but also in the offering of their time and their talents in so many ways, from being on committees and subcommittees, to participating in the, the fundraising efforts, to offering their skills as architects and engineers and project managers and in many other ways. It has been a beautiful example of a parish family coming together and offering their gifts and talents in the Lord's service. Thank you.